Hello and good day everybody. I would like to show you today how to hook your custom domain name to your ClickFunnels account. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to move the screen thing up. You can see up here uh, once you're logged into your ClickFunnels account, go up to account, drop down to domains and click on that. And you're going to end up at this page where you have some domains. Um, so what I want to do is I want to verify this um, domain that I have with ClickFunnels so I can use it instead of the domain name that they give me. Also, when you're in ClickFunnels, I just want you to know that you can click and you get actually one free domain name with them that they'll register for you. So um, make sure you, you uh, scoop up your free domain. This one here is mine. Um, click out of that conversation. All right. So Rodney's Lotus Marketing is what I have uh, from ClickFunnels. They provide one free one. I want to verify this one. So what I'm going to do is go over to my GoDaddy account. You'll want to log into your account and GoDaddy. And then click on to My Products. And of course, um, you'll have had to have registered a, a domain by this point. Um, that's another tutorial. It's pretty simple. Just get on the phone with them if you want to register one. Uh, I find it's easier to phone them up in person. Otherwise, if you go through their website, they'll upsell you on a bunch of stuff and you may not need a bunch of other things. So um, just phone them up and ask them after you've set up your account and all that. So here I am on my domains and the one I want to uh, register with ClickFunnels is my RodneyWarnMarketing.com right here. So I'm going to go over to DNS. I'm going to click on that. It's going to load <laughs> slowly but surely. All right, here we go. Um, so you're going to click on CNAME. All right, and I've got this filled in. But what you want to do with host is put www in the host section. Then you want to point it to targetdoc.clickfunnels.com. And it says an hour here. You can click on half an hour. And you want to save that, okay? So once that's done, you want to scroll down to your forwarding domain and click on that. And you want to put you want to click on HTTPS. It's standard. It comes at HTTP, but you want HTTPS. Even if you haven't got a security uh, SSL certificate on your domain, click that anyways, and they'll do that over on the ClickFunnels end. Now you want to put in the domain that you want to forward. So here I want to forward... Um, What do I want to forward? I do believe I want to forward RodneyWarren.com. Yes. Uh, Rodney Warren Mark. Okay. So that's what I want to forward. Uh, make sure that I spelled this okay. All right, and I want to save it. Now that should, it says features may be unavailable while we process your updates, but it should update fairly quickly. Okay. RodneyWarrenMarketing.com, all that looks good. Now, I'm going to go back over to ClickFunnels here put me up there and I want to verify just like that bada boom we're done we're verified and now um, I'll record another tutorial but you can use any of your stuff here and forward it right to um, right to any of your funnels uh, let's just see 
I'm going to browse funnels. I'll show you how to do this while I'm here. So I'm browsing funnels. Lotus Consulting. Actually, I'll do Experts Blueprint. I've already forwarded uh, something to this. So what you want to do is come over to here, hit Settings, and Domain. Right here is where you're going to drop that domain. You should have a drop-down list of your domains. Just hit the domain you want to forward that particular funnel to. Go down here, save and update your settings. Should mention to you um, is when you're finished, go to that domain. I'm going to go back once. You know what I'm talking about. Here, um, I just forwarded uh, Rodney Warren Marketing, um, but then I wanted to uh, to put the LotusMethod.com onto um, one of my funnels. So uh, we did that. I went over to my funnel and I showed you how to do that. What you need to do when you're finished is hit this um, Edit Your Domain Settings button to make sure that it's going to point properly. And what you want to do is go up to the default page uh, for the domain that you want to forward to your funnel and hit expand. And then make sure that this domain here is pointed to your proper funnel. Here's a list of all my funnels. So there's quite a few going on here. And um, so just pick the funnel that you want that domain to point to, click on it and save otherwise it's just going to go straight to go to uh to click funnels your domain will go straight to click funnels and it won't point to your domain afterwards or your your funnel sorry um so make sure that you do that part of things too okay i hope that's been helpful um again have some fun with that and we'll see you on the next lesson bye for now